Whenever you start up a video game or wait for a loading screen, the time it takes to load is mostly spent moving all the 3D models of a particular scene or environment from the solid state drive into these graphics memory chips. As mentioned earlier, the GPU has a small amount of data storage in its 6 megabyte shared level 2 cache, which can hold the equivalent of about this much of the video game's environment. Therefore, in order to render a video game, different chunks of scene are continuously being transferred between the graphics memory and the GPU. Because the cores are constantly performing tens of trillions of calculations a second, GPUs are data-hungry machines and need to be continuously fed terabytes upon terabytes of data. And thus, these graphics memory chips are designed kind of like multiple cranes, loading a cargo ship at the same time. Specifically, these 24 chips transfer a combined 384 bits at a time, which is called the bus width, and the total data that can be transferred, or the bandwidth, is about 1.15 terabytes a second. In contrast, the sticks of DRAM that support the CPU only have a 64-bit bus width and a maximum bandwidth closer to 64 gigabytes a second. One rather interesting thing is that you may think that computers only work using binary ones and zeros. If you want more, we have full in-depth videos on our YouTube channel. This is Branch Education.